All right, it's time for Wild Will and Uncle Chris's Lake Area High School Football Weekly Roundup. And Uncle C, we're going to start with the Osage Indians. Boy, they have had a tough schedule to start the year. Yeah, they have. I mean, uh, and actually, they're 0-3, but they uh, they gave Blair Oaks, the defending state champions, a pretty good game last week. I mean, it was really close at halftime, Blair Oaks pulling away in the second half. But uh, they've, they've started out exactly like they did last year, the Osage. And remember last year, they went on a seven-game win streak right. and went into the district championship game. So uh, there still might be uh, plenty left this season for Osage. So they start 0-3, and, and yeah, that game, uh, against Blair Oaks. Blair Oaks was 1-1. One one. You know, they lost a regular season game coming into that game, which did Osage no favors. Yeah. You can imagine a Blair Oaks team coming off a loss. It's probably been 20 years since they've lost consecutive regular season games. A really good Lutheran North team beating Blair Oaks uh, in Week 2. So that was a bit of a shocker, but yeah. And so you know that coming off of that loss, they don't lose two in a row. No. Uh, and so Osage had their work cut out for them. The final 56-14, to 14, Osage falls to 0-3, as you alluded to. And one thing to touch on, we, we've seen their sophomore quarterback, Maverick Trusty, mm -hmm. has looked really solid at times. And you're talking about a 15-year-old kid getting his first varsity action, Jeff City, Moberly, Blair Oaks. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Yeah. You know? I love that kid, too, because he, he's also a great basketball player. Uh, and he's just a sophomore, so he's going to be around for a long time. This Osage program, I mean, you might not look at it record-wise right now, but they keep getting better and better and better. Yeah, and then you got to look at A-Train, senior running back Aiden Hutchinson. Uh, he's played those tough defenses, but down the stretch now, Osage going to get into conference play, and uh, they've got some games they feel like they can win, starting with this Friday as they travel to Eldon. A lot of ties there. Head coach Chad Holt with the Mustangs. Spent a handful of years as the defensive coordinator for Coach Shannon Jolly's Mustang team. Together, they ended the Eldon District drought, winning back-to-back -back, uh, district championships in, I think, 2010 and 11. It had been over 65 years since wow. Eldon had won a district championship. Wow. So those two have that tie. Coach Jolly leaves. Coach Chad Holt gets the promotion. And his Mustangs uh, this year, they're 2-1. and one. Week 2, they be or week 3... They beat a Gateway. Yeah. That was a really decent, it looked like on, on paper, Gateway came in 2-0. and Well, Eldon had their way with them. They beat them 52-0 to yeah. in that game. And there's a chance, you know, Eldon could be 3-0. and They lost a really close game week two to Owensville. Uh, so they're good at 2-1. and uh, We'll see what Osage has got. And again, it's very much like last year. Last year when Osage and Eldon met, uh, Eldon was 3-0, and Osage was 0-3, but Osage won that game and they went on a big run after that. Yeah, and so that is the mindset, I'm sure, for Coach Shannon Jolly. You met with him this week on the Coach's Show with mm -hmm. his team being 0-3. How were Coach Jolly's uh, spirits? How was he doing? You know, I mean, every, anytime you're a coach, coming off a loss, you're not gonna, you know, your spirits are not going to be good. And if you're 0-3, your spirits are really not going to be good. But he knows, he sees the young talent he's got on this team, and he's excited about that. It's just going to be a growing process. And so as we look at Friday night's matchup with Eldon and Osage, always throw the records out when these two teams get together. One of the greatest rivalries in the state of Missouri. And I look at Eldon. Of course, their senior uh, quarterback, one of our favorite players on Lake yep. TV, Hunter Hess. He's averaging 120 yards a game passing. But the cool stat is eight total touchdowns, two passing, six rushing. He's yet to turn the football over. And their junior running back, Andrew Beanland, through three games, he's averaging 160 yards on the ground a game, wow. 8.5 yards a carry with six scores. And his brother, I would imagine, uh, Evan Beanland, through three games on defense, He's got three interceptions and two fumble recoveries. Wow. He's got five takeaways through three games. Um, and as a team, Eldon's averaging 48 points a game, and defensively they're yielding just 16 points a game. So this team's coming in hot. Two yeah. and one. They're at home. They feel like they can beat the Indians and improve to three and one. You can watch that on Friday night on Lake TV. That's going to be a good one, Chris. Yes, it is. Pre-game at 6.30 with you and Hall of Famer Mike Bissell kickoff at 7. Lake TV, just such great high school football. Uh, so be sure to join us Friday night. That's going to be a great one. Yeah, I'm still getting adjusted to not having you next to me on Friday nights. Mike told me a couple times Friday, he goes, you, you called me Chris again. Oh, did he? I was like, <laughs> I, he goes, but he said, but hey, 
I see, he goes, I've been called a lot worse, so that's just fine with me. <laughs> uh, so we look at the Lakers. We had them Friday night at home against Waynesville. Yep. They put up a lot of points. They won 52-18 as they come back from their week two loss against Kickapoo. Cade Dernan in the game, seven total touchdowns. Wow. Six through the air, one on the ground. And I was curious, is he going to come back after his two interception performance against Kickapoo yeah. um, and, and bounce back? He did in a big way. I mean, he had a couple of picks, but he was lights out outside of the turnovers. Uh, he threw three touchdowns to his younger brother, Carson. And Braden Shepard, come on, man. Are you kidding me? Over 220 yards and a score. Through three games, he's got over 400 yards receiving with a couple of scores. And you can't mention the Lakers without mentioning Sam DeMott, the senior linebacker. He's been all over the place, a one-man wrecking crew. Uh, they're going to travel down to Parkview in week four. They're yeah. going to take their 2-1 and one record to Parkview, who's 0-3, fully anticipate Camden, who rolls over Parkview and improves to 3-1. and one. Yeah, but Parkview's better than that 0-3 record because two of those losses are to two of the state's best teams in Lebanon and Bolivar, who are really, really good this year. So uh, they are not taking them lightly. I mean, everybody expects... The Lakers to win, and they probably will, but it might be harder than people think. Well, Parkview's about to get another one of the best teams in the state of Missouri because the Lakers are coming to town with Cade Dernan and crew, so look out. I predict the Lakers win that one and improve to 3-1. and one. want to give a shout-out to Versailles. They played pretty tough to Butler on Friday night. Of course, Butler now 3-0. and Versailles falls to 1-2. and two. They lost 42 22 uh, and for Versailles, of course, Tyrus Allison. He's yep. their quarterback who's made the transition from tailback. And of course, the junior sensation, Reese Murdoch, one of the most exciting players in the state of Missouri. Yeah, and a great head coach in Warren Seitz, the former Mizzou Tiger quarterback. Uh, we are both really big Versailles fans, big fans of Coach Seitz. And I think this program is coming around too. They're getting better and better. They just changed conferences this year. And I think that was a good thing for them. So, uh, uh, I, I, I think good things are on the horizon for the Tigers. Yeah, they play now in the Ozark Highlands Conference, and you're going to start seeing those teams. And they've got a couple of their tougher games out of the way. I mean, Knob was tough to start the year. They got a really tough W. Warsaw's really good, and, yeah. of course, Butler's really good. So Friday they're going to be home against the 0 3 Colorado Springs team and Coach Seitz and crew should feel good going into that one on their home turf, even in that record at two and two. Yeah. But I uh, gotta be impressed with them. We wrap up with this week's show. California, they entered Friday night, two and oh playing Southern Boone. Yep. And that was a thrilling game. They lost in overtime to mm. Southern Boone, 27 to 20. Tough enough. And if that isn't tough, after they take their first loss of the season, they got to travel to Ashland or to uh, Jeff City and play Blair Oaks oh, on Friday night. That's going to be tough, going to be really difficult. But they've got a new coach this year, Kenny Grubbs, and he's doing a great job yeah, there with is. the Pintos. So excited with them. But again, they've got a real tough one against Blair Oaks this week. So our five coverage teams through three weeks, an overall mark of seven and eight. We hope this Friday we get above 500 or back to 500 uh, in our game of the week, of course, is going to be the Osage Indians at 0-3 at the Eldon Mustangs at 2-1. and Catch the COMC pregame show starting at 6.30, and I'll be on the call with Hall of Famer Mike Bissell. Until next week, Uncle C from Slumberland at the Lake, this has been your Lake Area High School Football Weekly Wrap-Up.